What I'm going to show here is how to create an overhead camera view by using the Alzo horizontal mount. Um, now what I'm mounting is this tripod. This is a Targus. I don't know if they make the Targus anymore. It's 60 inches. But you can get a generic um, tripod at 60 inches. I prefer the 72 inch um, tripod which I actually have now. I've upgraded to a 72 inch uh, that I've shown in some of my videos and I will show in the blog that I'll embed this in. So what I'm going to do is just basically show how I create the mount for the overhead cam. Right now you see um, the mount actually on there. I'm going to unscrew the mount um, now and I hope this stays this I'm going to take this screw on the top off first. So the horizontal mount is already screwed on to this little platform. This platform here goes onto the top of the tripod. And you can see that the top of the also horizontal mount has a hole through which the pole, the pole is going to go through the... Um, and you have to loosen this screw so that the pole can go through here. So the screw is loose enough now I unloosened it so that the map goes through like this. Remember that the, the little uh, Logitech camera is going to screw on to the end of this. So you have to decide what kind of length you want on the map. Uh, it gets a little imbalanced if this goes too far. This would start to tilt down. So you have to kind of compromise on that. But once you, let's say, have it right in the middle here, and you can always alter the length of the mount. You screw this tightly. I lowered the neck so that I can now pull up the neck to here and actually can it go higher? Yeah, if you hold the side, these little buttons here, you can push this as high as you can. There you go. So this is about as high as this mount is going to go for a 60 inch tripod. And I can't measure. Probably we're at least 60 inches, 5 foot, because I'm 5 foot 2 or 5 foot 1. And this is a little bit above. You probably get some good, good elevation there. So now I'm going to, let me see if the camera is showing this. So now I'm going to screw on the Logitech camera because it has a, you can see it has a little hole here that allows you to screw the camera onto the end. That's just going to go like this, over and around. You don't want to tangle the wire here as much as you can. Keep the wire free as you're doing this. As tight as you can make it would be a good idea. It's pretty tight. And so now you basically have a Logitech at the end of the mount. It's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. It's very sturdy. In fact, you know, it would be nice if you could do that. But it's pretty good now. I pretty much got it where I want it. And I'm going to show another angle of this. So this would drape nicely over a keyboard and um, the uh, USB connector, you might need an extension. And I purchased my extensions. I, I use a three inch, I use a three foot extension if I, to the computer because if it's very high you might not and your computer isn't that close or your MacBook, you might want to have an extender. And you want it to be keyboard side, you might want to use one of these. Um, but I think that three feet is ample. So that's how you do it. Um, the other way you can mount the uh, Alza horizontal mount is a little more complicated. It's using a clamp. And you can see this is the clamp. This is another way where you take the clamp and you make it big enough here to, to grip the neck here of the tripod. Now you're going to lose 
some elevation doing this though because see, you can't do it over here. So you're going to lose some elevation. So that's what you would do like this. Tighten this up. And then what would happen is this very hole, I think I have another horizontal mount, would go do that. Now that seems to be a little bit more sturdy or substantial to sustain the mount and to support it, but you're losing height. But that's another way of mounting it. But you're losing height, and that's not worth it to lose that height. It's practically down on the piano. And I have the um, neck of this at maximum height, so it'd be quite too close. So I'm going to take a look. Yeah, and I'll do a side view so you can see the two mounts. And I've, I've shown it by a clamp. And I've shown it by the actual uh, rectangular cube here, in which you adhere it to what would be one of these clips that goes on the platform of the tripod. That's what you would uh, use to mount this cube part of the Alzo horizontal mount. Remember, the mount itself goes through this cylindrical hole. So that's about it. So there's your mount in a nutshell. You can do different angles with the arm of the tripod. So it can be higher. Actually you can do that. All the way up. So I guess you could get some good elevation, but the thing is the angle of the overhead would have to be angled down. This neck is very nice. This neck gives you different ways of angling down on the keyboard. You go all the way up, but then you can start losing the angle you need. The good news is you have this, so it could be pretty high. Again, I'll show different angles of it. Of course, this part of the Logitech, you would drape this around so you wouldn't see it on the camera, on the screen. You drape it all the way around in such a way toward your computer USB with your extender. That's about it. Thank <laughs> you.